new champion was crowned at Forbidden Door and a top AEW star has been injured. But first, who left Toronto as the AEW World Champion? Last night, All Elite Wrestling and New Japan Pro Wrestling would co-host Forbidden Door live from the Scotiabank Arena in Toronto, Canada, a show that saw the AEW World title on the line in the first main show match of the night. Eight-time IWGP Heavyweight Champion Hiroshi Tanahashi would challenge MJF for All Elite Wrestling's biggest prize, although unfortunately for the ace, the champion had a few tricks up his sleeve. The finish of the match would see MJF shove Tanahashi into referee Bryce Remsburg before dropping him with a dynamite diamond ring for the 1-2-3. The move followed a series of underhanded tactics, including testing the referee's patience with the five counts, as well as the attempted use of the AEW title belt. Max would then keep his word from this past Saturday night on Collision, with him quickly posting a video of himself in the airport, with him refusing to stay to watch Indie Jabrones from Japan, the kayfabe reason for the match going on first. And next up, let's find out who advanced from the first round of the Owen Hart Foundation Tournament. Last night's show would see two Owen Hart Cup matches take place, one for the men's and one for the women's side, the first of which taking place on the Zero Hour pre-show. ROH Women's Champion Athena would take on 18-year-old up-and-comer Billy Starks for a spot in the second round of the women's bracket. As many anticipated, it was the champion of the Ring of Honor Women's Division that progressed after a double-knee gut buster for the pin full win. The second of the Owen Hart Cup matches would happen on the main card. This when former AEW World Champion CM Punk went one-on-one -on -one with former Triple Crown Champion of Japan Satoshi Kojima. Punk ended to the ring to a hostile reaction from the Toronto faithful, likely due to his past with the Elite and more specifically with Canada's own Kenny Omega, although there were some CM Punk chants likely from travelling fans. In his first singles match since his recent return to All Elite wrestling, Punk would prevail in a hard-hitting contest, eventually managing to score the GTS for the 1-2-3. This shortly after Kojima battled his way out of the Anaconda Vice. After the bell, Punk would then help Satoshi to his feet before raising his hand, allowing the legend to receive a standing ovation from the Toronto crowd. The crossover event would see titles from both New Japan and All Elite on the line, one of which would see Orange Cassidy put his AEW International Championship up for grabs in four-way action. He would share the ring with current ROH Pure Champion Katsuri Shibata, New Japan World Television Champion Zack Sabre Jr., as well as Daniel Garcia of the Jericho Appreciation Society. In the end, Cassidy would hold on to his belt after Shibata dropped Garcia with the PK kick before the International Champion jumped in to steal the pinfall with the crucifix on the downed opponent. After the bell, all three champions would go face to face with Cassidy and Shibata, then shaking hands in a sign of respect. The moment comes one year after Shibata's appearance at Forbidden Door 2022, when he came to the aid of Orange Cassidy and best friends during a beatdown at the hands of the United Empire. The next title match of the night would this time see a New Japan Pro Wrestling belt up for grabs, this when Sonada defended his IWGP World Heavyweight Championship against Jungle Boy, who was joined by Hook at ringside. In the end, it was a shining wizard and a moonsault press from Sonada that allowed him to retain his belt, with him remaining at the top of the food chain in New Japan. However, this wasn't the end of the night for Jungle Boy. As Hook aided Jack up the ramp to the backstage area, Perry would clothesline his tag team partner out of nowhere, leaving him laid out on the hard surface. Jungle Boy would then grab Hook's FTW Championship, something he seemingly has his eye on going forward forward before throwing it down next to the current champion. This brings an end to their six month on and off partnership that began in January 2023, with the two now set for a singles feud. Later on the show, the AEW Women's World Championship would be defended by Tony Storm, who went one on one with current MJPW Strong Women's Champion Willow Nightingale. Despite being outstrengthed by the challenger, a rake to the eye would allow an opening for Tony to hit the Storm Zero for the pinfall victory, with her leaving Toronto with the AEW Women's World title by the skin of her teeth. 
Forbidden Door would also see two main card multi-man tag matches, the first of which would see the Elite's Young Bucks and Hangman Page team up with Eddie Kingston and Tomohiro Ishii against the Blackpool Combat Club's John Moxley, Claudio Castagnoli and Wheeler Yuta, as well as Konosuke Takeshita and Shota Amino. In the end, it was actually Ishii that guided his team to victory after a brainbuster was enough to turn out the lights on Wheeler Yuta, with the Japanese legend scoring the pinfall win alongside the Elite and Kingston. The second the second main show multi-man tag match would pit Tetsuya Naito, Darby Allen, and Sting against the team going by the name of the Suzuki Gods, this being Chris Jericho, Sammy Guevara, and Minori Suzuki. After being put through a table by Sammy Guevara's 6.30 splash earlier in the match, Sting would make his way back into the action as he and Naito teamed up against an isolated Suzuki for the victory, this via a Naito roll-up. Chris Jericho would then take out Naito after the bell with a bat before being stopped in his tracks by the icon Sting, who cleared the ring for the celebrations. And next, a new champion was crowned at Forbidden Door. In what was a rematch from this year's Wrestle Kingdom, Will Ospreay would fight to win back his IWGP United States Championship from Kenny Omega, a bout that lasted just under 40 minutes. The match would see interference from Omega's former manager, Don Callis, who handed Ospreay a screwdriver, which helped him escape a one-winged angel. During the match, Will would disrespect respect the Toronto crowd by desecrating the Canadian flag, turning what was a split audience into one that was rooting solely for the Canadian Omega. The finish would then see Osprey hit a series of moves, including a brutal looking tiger driver, a hidden blade with no elbow pad, and a stormbreaker for the 1-2-3, finally putting the resilient champion away. The general consensus going by our community poll is that Omega vs Osprey was match of the night, something that's hard to argue, with the Brit now returning the IWGP. US title back to Japan, kicking off his second run with the belt. As for Omega, we now await word on if he sustained any injuries during the match, with there being particular concern with the way he landed on his neck on the Tiger Driver spot, although Tony Khan was unable to confirm or deny if he's okay until medical evaluations have taken place. The main event of Forbidden Door would see a dream match that many never thought they'd see, with the American Dragon, Brian Danielson, battling the Rainmaker, Kazushika Okada, for the first time ever. Before the match kicked off, Brian would bring back his final countdown entrance music, one which he used during his time in Ring of Honor prior to his run with WWE, leading to a huge reaction from the audience in attendance. A well-executed match would eventually come to a close when Danielson locked his opponent into a one-armed LaBelle lock, which, after a grueling match was enough to force Okada to tap out, a surprising finish for many. It's worth noting that after the show, during the media scrum, Danielson would reveal that he thinks he has broken his forearm and expects to be out of action for six to eight weeks while he recovers. The injury would occur when Okada hit Brian with an elbow drop about 10 minutes before the end of the match, with him noting that he didn't protect himself properly. But what was your favourite moment from AEW NJPW Forbidden Door 2023? Let me know in the comments down below. And before you go, make sure you check out the 12 most obscure WWE appearances from AEW wrestlers. 